Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Slim, AKA Mr. Different, back with another video today. Today is gonna be another one of them requested by all you guys. You guys asked me to do a tape stop effect video. So I'm gonna show you guys a few ways of doing a tape stop effect. Um, the main way is gonna be showing you how to do it in gross beats, but we're gonna show you how to do a tape stop and a reverse tape stop or where it kind of speeds up and ramps up. Show you how to do that in gross beats and also show you my alternatives and also show you a little funny trick that I used to do a long time ago that sucks so bad. So if you don't know what a tape stop effect is, this is what a tape stop effect is. I'm using one of my beats that I still haven't finished yet. I need to hurry up and upload. But this is what it sounds like. So that, that's the effect I'm gonna be showing you how to do. And what I did with that beat, the way I did it with, in that instance, I use Glitch too. Um, there's definitely, there's other, there's all kind of programs out there that like I said, there's Gross Beats, there's Glitch too. You can actually get Glitch 1 for free. I think it's Glitch 1.3. Just look it up uh, by D Blue. It's absolutely free. It's called D Blue Glitch 1.3, it's free. And they also have uh, D Blue Tape Stop Effect, which is another free program, um, which is on the internet. You just look up, uh, I think it's D Blue Tape Stop and it's absolutely free as well and you can use that as well but you know i'm using i use glitch tool in this instance but i'm gonna show you how to do it in gross beats as well um so don't worry about the plugin because like i'm gonna show you if it's too but this is what i used to do a long time ago i used to do this right here <laughs> as a tape stop effect before i learned how to do the real tape stop effect. this is laughable but i just want to show you what i used to do i used to automate the um the time the, the um the tent the tempo and the pitch at the same time to get a fake tape stop effect but it was so horrible and this is what it used to sound like so just give you guys a laugh real quick That is not a tape stop effect whatsoever. But basically what I did is I automated the pitch. If you watch the time up here and the pitch knob right here, you'll see it's actually going down in speed. <laughs> but that is not how you do it. But anyway, let's show you how to do this. Let's go ahead and open up an instance of Gross of Beats. Where's Gross Beats set with all these dang plugins right here? Gross Beats. Now, I like the new interface of Gross Beats, how you can scale it, rescale it, all that good mess. Very dope, very interesting. We'll go ahead and set my sync. So we'll go ahead and do, 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 do one. We'll do one four bars. We'll put the tempo beat. Can we do four beat, four beat? All right, hold on, blah blah. Set to four. That'll work. Or I can set the sixteenth notes if I want to. Oh, no, set sixteen notes. You set to whatever notes you want. To. I'm sitting on you know four bars. So we have four little bars right there. Okay. So there's an easy way to do taste effects. First, we want to create an automation clip. So how to create an automation clip? What you want to do is highlight the section you want to actually apply the effect to. So I'm just going to highlight this part here using the little highlight tool. And then we're going to go to the gross beats and we're going to right click right on the little, um, the mix knob as it's called. And you want to go to create automation clip. Now you have an automation clip. What we're going to do is basically automate the time it cuts on and off. So we'll just get rid of these because these are useless, completely useless. All right, so now, we we'll find a point where we want the gro the gross beat the time the tape stop to activate. So we we'll just play around. Ew. So right in here is where I want the tape stop effect to add. So I'm gonna add a point. So you right click, you add a point. It's very simple, and you're gonna drag it all the way down. Add another point and drag it up. Now, and then we're just gonna do like this real quick. Now, what this line means is when it's all the way at the bottom it means it's turned off. And when it's all the way at the top, it means it's turned on. So in in between is you know in between. So it's zero percent all the way to hundred percent on. And then we're gonna make one more point down. So when it gets past this point, it cuts off. So as you see, it's off. It's turned off, turned off, turned off. It gets to this point, then the effect cuts on. And then when it gets past this point, it cuts back off. That's how the automation works in FL Studio. I really like that. How you know down is off and up is on. I mean, it's very simple for people. Other DAWs like Studio One is in reverse, where up means off and down means on. But you know, is kind of confusing to most people. But you know, is that's just how they do it there, and it's different in every DAW. But you know, but that's how it works in FL Studio. So now what nothing we're gonna do is go right back to where our gross beats was. We're going to right click it and go to initiate in this song position, which means that no matter what, you, where you start the song at, it's gonna start in the off position. If you don't do that, it's gonna be on. So if it go past the point, it's gonna to continue to stay on. So you have to hit that initialize in that position. That way it's telling the um telling the program that no matter what, that's what position you be starting off. So it needs to start off at the off position at all times. And it, until it gets to this point, then it cuts back on. So that's one thing that took me a while to understand it. Get, I was like, how did I get that? I was not doing that. But you know, it's one of the things. 
So now we're going to go back to gross beats. Okay. And we're going to go to, if you right click on the arrow, you go to turntable list. If I like about gross beats and you have different functions. Now deck off is basically the tape type effect. Deck off is means it's going to go. Okay. So if I play it, now we have. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Um, but if you want to do the reverse tape stock, because somebody asked about how to do the reverse one, it's called deck on. Now it's gonna go yum, 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 yum. It's gonna go in reverse. So if you play it now, it winds up. Basically, what that's simulating is, you know, um, like if you ever seen a tape machine when you hit the stop, it has to, the tape has to take time to the to turn out. So it goes in, 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 in. Because it, it's, it's spinning like this constantly, you hit the stop button and go, mm, it don't just automatically stop. So that's basically what it is. So look up tape machines, you'll see it happening. Um, and there's other, of course, other stuff you can do up in here. There's like scratches, jitters, uh, backspin, start, backspin. This is another one, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's all kind of crazy stuff you can do. Um, and Or if you want to, you can go to empty. If you want to do your own taste out effect, you just add a point. And then you add a point like that and see there's a point that's right here. If you right click that, you can go to curve. It should be like a single curve. And then you should be able to, oh, name I messed it up. Let me just delete this point. Delete. Let's take this point and bring it back. Let's delete this point. Oh, I can't delete it. We're gonna, we'll do like this then bump it. We'll bring that bad boy down. There we go. And then you can turn this into a single curve and you can actually curve it yourself either up or down, depending on the effect you want, and make your own taste up effect, and you know, make it faster or slower. And go back to empty, boop, boop, empty. We do something like this. I mean, there's so many possibilities of gross beats. <laughs> I mean, you can just play around with it. And get all kinds of crazy stuff. If I like about Grossbridge, you can actually go in here and they got like, I mean, just random ish stuff underwater. It's gonna be weird. That's garbage. But yeah, back to the take stop effect. That's how you do it in gross beats. You just go turntable list and deck off, and that's it. Simple take stop. Like I said, you can also go in there and automate it, make it longer, faster. You know, you can make it a slower kind of turn. You can have it like crazy steep and it just super fast. I think the lower it goes, the faster it is and the higher it goes, like the slower, if I'm not mistaken, with gross beats. Yeah, but I don't use gross beats that much because you know, it's to me glitches a lot easier. Cause like I said, all I gotta do is put in where I want the taste top effect like this and I change the speed, I go tape stop, I can change the speed and it sounds a lot cleaner in my opinion. But you know, um, Glitch 2 is a paid pro, it's a paid plugin, it's about 50, I think it's 50 bucks. Um, so it's up to you. But yeah, that's how you simply do the taste up effect within FL Studio using Gross Beats or Glitch 2. And like I say you also get um, Glitch 1 for free or the taste up effect and it's the same principle. You just make an automation clip and you you uh, make an automation clip to it and it just you set to where you wanted to cut on and that's it as simple as that i mean it couldn't be no more easier than that so hopefully you guys like this um like i said i'm not an expert at gross beats i don't use gross beats like that but i want to show you guys how to do an easy taste i fit in gross beats because like i said it's just that's one thing about fs studio i really like it's just a click away to do simple stuff that seems complex in other daws which that's why fs studio is probably the best daw for production like making beats like that because it can do stuff so quick and you can be so fast every when it comes to making beats on um, recording wise that's, that's another story but um, yeah with that being said y'all know who it is this is your boy slim aka mr different glad you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys enjoyed this let me leave, let, blah, blah, blah. let me know what you think leave a comment below let me know some other requests if you got other requests or anything like that please let me know i read comments every day so i check requests and i just do what you guys ask me to do so with that being said I hope you guys enjoy like always Check me out. Also, link to my store below. I got sales going on right now. I got some new products coming out as well. So check the store out as well. So hope you guys enjoy. Not motivated by money, but the like, comments, subscribe, and views. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.